Well, we move into round number two of the Liars Club. Bob and Barbara tied up, zip, zip, nothing, nothing. Still waiting for the first win. And the object lies in front of Mr. Rolf Peterson. Rolf, tell us about it. Yeah, it's a simple device. As you see, you push like that, and that revolves. So that's the <laughs> main a lot. Yeah. The key to its use. Uh, this is a kind of a clamp, and you can fit the handle of a paintbrush in there. And after you've cleaned the paintbrush in thinner or turpentine or something, and you want to dry it and get the flakes of paint out, you go like that rapidly. <laughs> it whirls the paintbrush, and centrifugal force throws all that impurity out of the paintbrush. <laughs> Uh, Betty White. I, you wind up a living mess. <laughs> well, I don't really care what it does. I just love to play with it. <laughs> but I tell you, you know what you do? You know these heavy steel cables that fit through conduit and things like that? They all have to be twisted. Each, each wire is not all that big, but there are like three of them that have to be twisted very carefully. So they're attached to this. And as you notice, it only goes around in one direction. And that twists them so that they form a, a thicker piece of wire that then can be strung easily through the conduit it without having to be, you know, all frayed. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Godier, uh, this is a turn-of-the-century drill. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. It's, a, it's really a gopher killer. You just put it down in the hole. <laughs> no, what it really is, is uh, no, this, this is a, a, a wire brush. A heavy wire brush goes in here, and it is a, um, it hones cylinders. A uh, very heavy wire brush, and you just... Just get it to it like that. Hey, that's fun. <laughs> and uh, it really just, you know, cleans them out, hones the cylinders. We actually. believe you. We believe you. Okay, okay Fiona. No, no, that's, give me that. That's not all it does. This is French, and it comes from the Cordon Bleu cooking score. It's used in, in, in cooking. Attached here in the end, the missing part, are some wires. And when you want to make, beat up a lot of, egg whites in great vats. They have this and they put that down like that and this whips it around and it makes egg whites in large kitchens where they want a lot of uh -huh. egg whites for something. Okay, Barbara and Bob. Ralph tells us this is a device used in the process of cleaning paint brushes. Betty maintains it's a cable twister that pushes wire through conduits. Dick says that, among other things, <laughs> killing gophers and the rest of it, it hones cylinders. And Pia tells us that this is an egg white egg white beater. Okay, Bob, we'll start with you. Who's telling the truth? Well, I'll go with Dick. I think it is a cylinder honer. Go with Dick. All right, Barbara? Uh, I'm going to go with Miss Lindstrom. I think it would be a very handy thing to have in the kitchen. Oh, indeed, yes. especially if you're serving the 4th Marine Regiment. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Barbara, you go with... <laughs> Barbara goes with Thea, who calls it an egg white beater, and Bob sticks with, uh, with Dick, who tells us it hones cylinders. And Jim Isaacs, will you tell us what it really is? Phil Lines Paint Contracting claims that this is a paintbrush spinner used in drying brushes. <laughs> Well, Barbara and Bob, you're the most consistent two players we've had on the show yet. Okay, but uh, you still got another chance because there's an object beginning round number three. It's in front of Pia, and she's going to tell us what it is. Pia? Yes, here you see, this actually goes this way. It, it even has the name on the side, Dressorten. It's a German instrument used to... Are you ready? I'm you take ready. a cherry and you put the cherry there and you do like that Ooh. and the pit comes out. <laughs> <laughs> because they drink a lot of brandy with cherries in it. And this is used in the bars to get rid of the pits so you don't get the pit in your mouth when you drink the cherry. And it's, it, it just smashes the pit out. It's a pit That's smash. assuming you don't like pits. That's what it is. Yeah. It's a German pit. Okay, Dick Gaudier. You like it? It's German. It says here. <laughs> Yeah, whatever she said. And actually, no, it is a medical instrument. Doctors use this like this on people's flesh, on their bodies. Right? On, on the chest and the stomach part of a person, when they're sewing them up, they go... <laughs> it's, it's a little sewing machine. It is a suture threader. You put the suture in there, and you sew up a guy, and he's okay forever. Okay, very right. He's going to be operated on again. You <laughs> Yes. No, but you're close. You're getting very, very close, as a matter of fact. It is used on the flesh, and you know how it's used. You won't believe this, but in tattoo parlors, you know, they get this heated up, and they put the various dyes on this, and then there's a little needle that fits.
wits into this thing, and for some of the fine touching, you can put mother on here or <laughs> ship across here. I, well, it's, it's really, it's, you've got to be very careful that you don't puncture anything, but it's a marvelous tattoo instrument. You wouldn't believe that. <laughs> You're hitting all around it. Peterson. It is indeed a surgical instrument. This is used in rhinoplasty, which is uh, a type of surgery the Hollywood appendectomy, or nose job, as it is called. <laughs> this is a tool that the surgeon has to use if he's doing a nose plastic surgery to uh, correct a deviated septum. And <laughs> the, I don't like to think of exactly how he does this, but anyway, it goes up there. You put it up your nose and... <laughs> No, Ralph, my boy, you put it up your nose. That's <laughs> a funny place. Oh, my. Uh, it's a strange I place for a tattoo, you got it. Oh, I tell you, this is, a, this is a bloody panel this evening. Ralph, Betty, and uh, Barbara and Bob tell us that this is a device used in rhinoplasty, uh, deviated septums and other surgical things having to do with the, the nasal column, uh, whatever I'm talking about. Uh, Betty says that this is a device used in the art of tattooing. Dick tells us this is a suturing device used in sewing up uh, patients after surgery. And Pia tells us that this is a German cherry pitter. <laughs> How about that, huh? A German cherry pitter. Okay, Barbara. I'm going to go with Miss White. I think it's uh, used in tattooing. All right. And you, Bob? I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> you already showed me and forget it. <laughs> Do you know something? <laughs> Barbara, dear. In 15 seconds, he didn't have it when he came in, but Dick now has on his back, death before dishonor. <laughs> you know that? And on the front it says, dishonor before death. <laughs> okay, Bob, have we given you a chance? Yet? Well, I think, yeah. I think Betty knows her tattoo, so I'll go with Betty you White. You both go with Betty, who says it's a device used in the art of tattooing. And Jim Isaacs, will you tell us what it is? The something old antique shop claims that this is a suture threader. <laughs> Okay, the score is Barbara nothing, Bob nothing, and we still forge ahead here. We'll be back to more of the Liars Club after this brief message.